For parents and their children, the new year bringing fresh uncertainty amid a crush of new COVID cases upon their return to the classroom after winter break. And for some, that meant spending the final days in long lines getting tested. Yeah, the lines are long and all that stuff, but um, I just think that thank goodness that there are places for, for people to get tested, right? And I'm happy with the fact that so many people are taking advantage of it. But for New York City schools, testing to return today was not a requirement. As of last Thursday, there were 3,300 students and staff infected with COVID and outbreaks prompting eight city schools to close. Despite the teachers union asking to start remote, Mayor Eric Adams insisting schools are the safest spots for our children with a new testing plan in place. Testing should be mandatory. It's so important. It would give us a lot of power to determine who's exposed. A mandatory vaccination, I think we should scale up to that. In order to cut down on quarantine disruptions in 2022, starting today, if a student comes down with COVID, the class will take home two test kits. If your child is symptom free and tests negative, they can return to school the next day. They'll also double the number of in-school testing to 80,000 kids a week. New rules for a new year amid a familiar problem yet to be solved. Well, in Brooklyn, PS58 has decided to close today. The principal emailing a letter to teachers and students uh, saying that they just don't have enough staff to reopen in person because so many people are sick. However, the Department of Education says uh, that was not authorized and they are now weighing possible uh, disciplinary action against the principal uh, for making that decision. Uh, the school will be open tomorrow. Reporting live here in the Bronx, I'm Anthony DiLorenzo, PIX11 News. Certainly a lot of information coming their way this morning. Okay, Anthony, thank you.